It's over. It's finally over. Canada's favorite gay couple, our favorite gay couple up here in Canada, they split up. The most toxic relationship ever has finally come to an end. And it was about time. The signs were there. All the, all the petty e-girl drama, all the mean bitch shit that finally built up to a boiling point and an explosion on stream. PPP and Surfer are no more. And that's why I need this mask, because this shit is so toxic. I I'll die if I take this mask off. If I take the mask off, I'll die. It's not even enough. It's still not enough. But... Let's start the stream off with some Southern Canadian heritage with a popper. That one's for you boys, and my heart does go out to you, but this needs to be said. It's, uh, really is the most epic shit, the most Kino we are going to see, uh, probably in a while out of these guys. It really is interesting. I have all my notes here, timestamps, written in illegible chicken scratch, languages so insane, I don't even understand them. But we're just going to get right into it now. Our story begins a few days ago. Normal, typical PPP stream going on four hours now, but in these past few months, Surfer really has uh, taken a liking to chat and uh, their appreciation for him. So he's been getting more and more involved in the streams and uh, really building up his ego, thinking he's hot shit. And, uh, you know, PPP doesn't like that. And, uh, Things go unsaid and, uh, boiling points are reached. Let's get into this shit right now. So they've been going on for four hours now at this point. Uh, Surfer's just been constantly derailing the fucking conversations. And it's come to a point now where PPP's not trying to have any of that shit anymore. Let's, let's get, let's get in. All they do all day is, did you hear about how the SJWs ruined this movie? Did you hear about how they ruined this? And they ruined that. Well, okay, man, if they've ruined it for you, they ruined it for you. Like, it's been like this for a long fucking time. Surfer chimes in here in a second. It's one of the most He's a few beers deep now. That's right, but he's in video games for all these pods. So, uh, Surfer here... Uh, has been mentioning this, and he's been bringing it up a few times throughout this stream now, that PPP's gambling addiction, hundreds of dollars a week on sports ball, is this degenerative thing, this sin from God. And he's not trying to have that. Uh, he can't, you know, be having his, uh, his, his best friend, his holy soldier friend, uh, be involved in this degeneracy. So he's going to try and steer him in the most righteous path, uh, in the best way he knows how, by braiding him constantly on stream in front of his fans. Let's see how much he likes that. There are mutual sour feelings here. So... Surfer right now has crossed the line. He's, uh, he's, he, he, he understands now that PPP is pissed off at him for constantly bringing this up, and now he's firing back. And, uh, you know, Surfer really doesn't like to have confrontations with this man. He really likes him. He looks up to him. He wants to simmer it down now, so he's, he's gonna kind of play it off as a joke while uh, deflecting it. He... <laughs> I gamble with a hundred percent mathematical efficiency. It's it's the cope. But it's interesting. Some gigacope. Bringing it up over and over again because 
because you can't PPP is going to keep pressuring him about this point previously so you feel the need to bring it up again and again and again and derail the show buddy it's just a joke you don't is it so seriously buddy is it he's putting his foot down there's surfer you've crossed the line at this point you can't you can't really play this off as a joke now you've seriously offended him you have to be a man and apologize and defuse the situation and and you're not backing down from this position does it really matter are are you going to change his mind in this moment this is the moment to have this conversation Again, it really is the homosexual relationship. Uh, the, these problems have to be done in front of other people so you can embarrass him. It can't be behind closed doors. And you can't, you can't fucking change people if they have problems like that. You, you, you're not God. Like, fuck. I don't know. That would piss me off. He's stepping back on his position now. It's all right. Because you're derailing the show constantly. I'm trying to do a fucking show for people. They're trying to get through this shit. What do you think, chat? What do you think? Chat, do you think press one if it's derailing the show? Or press two if it's adding content? Now, this, this was the moment I, when I decided to make this video. Because I think... Like, th this really demonstrates what went wrong with their relationship. Uh, Surfer, like, PPP has put his foot down in this moment, and he's saying, like, you're fucking up, you know, my, my show, which is, you know, my hobby. It's the thing that I do. I spend, you know, hours and hours a day doing this shit, and now I've let you into this part of my life, but I don't want you in it anymore. And I've put my foot down in... Like, these guys are friends in real life. Uh, if this was not a moment that took place online, you would not need to turn to the third party, your audience. You're, you're letting your audience decide the fate of your relationship. Just like IP2 and just like Baked Alaska, uh, let the chat decide their fate too. Like, it's a symptom of becoming an internet person. This has happened to you. You've got you've gotten too deep in the rabbit hole, and you spent you spent too much of your time involved together in this hobby. Like you need to have separate avenues of things you can do separately. You can't spend every waking hour of the moment with someone, unless you're like husband and wife. But even then. You guys should have different things like this. And this is why this meltdown is happening. It, these feelings have come to the surface now. And the, the chat is now the moderator in deciding what happens to their friendship going forward. It, it's an involvement. It, it's, it's so deep. It's so engrossed. You can't really get this deep into it. Unless you are, like, just streaming, like, hours and hours a day with this person. I don't know what to tell you, man. You were just, sit you're just sitting there fucking screaming into a phone at a fucking speaker for, like, an hour straight. Oh, and what do you know, buddy? It's all, all the mean, hurtful things are coming out now. What do you know, buddy? Oh, Thurb was really excited. He's just trying to play it off. This really is the most amazing image of a man who is unwelcome in an environment being directly told that he is unwelcome in this environment and psychologically detaching himself from that statement and playing it off as a joke. It really is sad. It really is sad. The cope is unreal. We'll get into the cope later.
It's just retarded. This <laughs> is really the end of the line. I don't know, dude. Like, you just want to, like, cross about, like, gambling when you gamble yourself. Surfers trying to save the sinking ship that is their friendship. Very, very desperately. I love you, buddy. I'm not trying to hurt your feelings. Okay. Yeah, well, pound it down, I surfer. I'm done with this segment. I really don't give a shit about Andy and his fucking coping. I don't give a fuck. Here comes the gauntlet. I've been here for fucking four or five hours uh, listening to the ramblings of a drink. Now, PPP has to drop down the gauntlet again on Surfer. And I really do sympathize, empathize with him in this situation because I too have had to hang out with retards who uh, don't, can't take a fucking hint and, like, need to be fucking kicked out of situations because they're so belligerent and so autistic they can't just do it themselves. But it really is your fault for having this type of person in your life. And you must have known. Like, we'll get more into, like, the abuse and the behind-the-scenes stuff later. But you really have to have a better judge of character than this. To, like, live with someone and involve someone this heavily uh, in your life. If they're just gonna... If they're just some fucking annoying, like, sped who doesn't know fucking shit and is a schizo. Like... You fucked up. Um, fucked up, buddy. And, you know, it, You're drunk, buddy. Is it me or you? It is you. You're are drunk. You sure, buddy? You're drunk. Am I the drunk, buddy? Yeah, you is are the me? drunk. And it's irritating, Oof. man. And I do four That's the level you're on, surfer, a burden. I let you give your fucking bullshit and spew it and run your dick flicker. But I honestly get fucking tired of it sometimes. And I this is a recurring problem. Going back for months, if you've watched PPP for some time, you'll know going back ages and ages ago, usually Surfer would only chime in when he was cooking stuff from the kitchen, but PPP told Surfer that the chat was in love with him and they loved his schizoid takes and, uh, you know, poltard schizos, you know, love to give their takes. He got too involved. The parasocial relationship between them and, uh, the retards that infest their chat, whose names they see all the time, uh, you know, really got between them. It's, it's sad, sad thing to see. Tell you all, I won't, I won't run my fucking quote-unquote dick liquor, <laughs> you know? Next time I'll just stay out of the video. How about that, buddy? You think you can make the same level of contact without surfer, buddy? I don't have to tell out of you, it. buddy. Like, I'll just stay out of it. The absolute ego it, in this statement. It, it's PPP show. It, it, it always has been. And the content surfer brings that we'll get into are complete, like, schizophrenic non sequiturs, rants about masturbating in, in bed and like biblical shit it, it's not like I don't know it's not something everyone's gonna be interested in hearing fucking like, like every second of of the stream and even PPP feels this because he never like usually he doesn't fucking respond to what he says or just brushes it off but Surfer the Schizoid can't, can't fucking tell. He, do, he doesn't know, man. He's like a child. One, one if you want me to stay out of it. <laughs> you know? Two if fucking Surfer makes the content. You know? Surfer, Surfer brings the content. I don't know, dude. Like, it is what it is, man. It is what it is. 1.5 says someone. No, I'll just, I'll just fuck off, buddy. It's well, you take it very seriously. Well, you... well, I don't know, dude. That's... Surfer now realizes the uh, reality of it. He can't play this off anymore. He, uh, her feelings 
are about to be had. Things are about to be said. That have gone unsaid for too long and need to be said. Back a little bit, then it gets serious, and you're like, I'm gonna quit the show. No, I didn't say that. <clears throat> like, I, I actually said, why so serious? And I said, you don't need to take it as such. A I just don't threat. understand why you have to keep joke? derailing a show off. endlessly that I'm trying to get through. I'll cut you off if I want. Oof. That's not. It's not good. That's not good. Fighting words, buddy. You you gotta be able to talk things like this out. You can't you can't just you can't just immediately resort to aggression and shit like this. Oops. I thought you guys have a malfunction there. But I thought you guys were supposed to be godly brothers. A Ary Aryan warriors, the last un uncucked people in Ontario. The unstoppable brotherhood is what Surfer thinks they are, but oh, how relationships end over the pettiest of things. It really is tragic, and it's about to get even nastier. What are you going to do? What are you going to do about it, buddy? I'll fucking speak over if you, if you if I want. What the fuck are you going to do? You're going to fight me? If you have a problem with me, there's nothing you can fucking say. You can't, you can't reason with people like that, surfer. If he's threatening to fight you because you fucking spoke over him, like, you can't, you can't have a fucking normal con- you can't have a, like, a, a disagreement with a person like that. How don't you realize this? And, oh, fuck. The history, man. Oh god, the history. This isn't the first time this has happened. The reality okay. is, Ashton, the reality is, Ashton, without me, your show would fucking stop. Dude, you're delusional. That's just <laughs> fucking delusional. Stuff. It's pure cope from Surfer. Okay, buddy. Like, that's an I'll ego leave. talking. That's I'll an ego you talking you right there. You see, this is such, this is such, this is such an important moment in their friendship, but it's through the medium of the screen and the stream and the audience that they are expressing themselves, talking, talking not to each other, but to this schizophrenic demon known as chat, will be the moderator uh, between who is right and wrong in this situation. And there is no right or wrong in this situation. It's, it's all mean girl shit. All we can do is speculate and analyze and laugh and produce Kino. That's all that can be done here. Content is king. And you know, not only that, but I take care of you in this fucking household. I, I am the man. And you're gonna okay, show buddy. me this level of disrespect on fucking camera. Buddy, don't Learn be a fucking, fucking hero. Place. Buddy, don't be a fucking Now, uh, PPP will later on go on to, like, like, say that some of the things that Surfer said were, was untrue and exaggerated, but he won't say that something as serious as, I take care of you, I'm your caretaker, uh, was not true. If my roommate tried to pull that shit on me, I'd jump down his throat immediately. That's, that's such a serious thing, man. Like, fuck. How, how can you just let that slide? You can't, you can't let that slide. You can't let some man say that about you. You woman. You child. Now there it is. Direct eye contact has been made. Really is a renaissance painting, isn't this? Fuck. Surfer's really not feeling so hot now, buddy. PPP's like much taller. He's he's like closer to the camera than he is. What do you think's gonna happen? What are you, are you gonna try to fight me? What are you doing? When I take what care of Exactly, Surfer. You've addressed the real problem. And not not an appropriate time, mind you. This is very womanly bitch behavior. To bring this up on stream in front of hundreds of people. <clears throat> but the gauntlet really has been thrown down about this serious grievance that Surfer has 
with his quote-unquote brother who he loves. And PPP's response to this is, what are you going to do about it, bitch? Like, you're just going to have to kick my ass. You, you can't reason with him. You can't, you can't fight him. You can't have someone like this just mooching off of you and living in your fucking house. How are you this week that you can't stand up for yourself and, and fucking, like, be a man, like, like, months ago, like, like, when this behavior started was the time to be a man, not fucking, like, like, during stream years later. Fuck, buddy. What fucking world are you living in? I already said I love you, mother. And you're gonna fucking try to cross me. It's cock shit. I'm sober. Calm down. Surfer, you are not the father. Like, you, you, you take care of this man, you take care of this grown man for no fucking reason. He can, he, he can go out, he can fuck off and find his own place and make his own way in life. You can still be friends, you don't have to take care of him. Is, is he, is he withholding his friendship from you? Like, he, he, he's the one who directed you in life. You were a Luciferian, buddy. And it only took one evening of speaking with him for you to, like, convert to Christ and, like, devote yourself to Kino and his content, as we'll find out later. Like a so, bitch. so yeah, I mean, again, serious accusations from Surfer here. Not gonna deny it and just like brush it off as like as like a joke. Like fuck, buddy. Like Surfer, Surfer does have grievances here, but again, like you're just you're just a fucking idiot for letting this asshole walk o walk all over you like this, and that's. That's why PPP can get away with saying shit like this, like you clean up my shit, and you're a bitch, because you shouldn't be letting someone walk all over you like that. Okay, Fuck. Buddy, well, you can move out then. That's fine. Okay, buddy, you're a tough That's man. What the fuck are you doing? You can't even shut off the screen, you fucking... Friendship over. The show's over. Ugh. So, there we have it. Our thick... Our thick Aryan brotherhood has been disbanded. The white race has surely lost its its greatest asset in this culture war that we are losing. It's it really is an unfortunate thing that this relationship was broken up over something as petty as saw like speaking over each other, which is really how most relationships end. Romantic ones over petty arguments like like the TV remote or like shit like that. It really It really is fucked. So a few hours later after this we it's radio silence. We we get nothing. A few hours later <laughs> So here we have We get this. I, I need help. I'm, uh, we are awoken in the middle of the night. To this treat. This Canadian cryptoid bumming out in community housing in Ontario. Like, fuck, I've been to some poor houses and these look like it. Fucking garbage out there. But Surfer, Surfer has been threatened by the big dog after, after their little lover's quarrel. It got physical, as most gay relationships do. And now the police are being called to this residence to remove these rowdy boys. Surfer is threatened. He's felt it. I just need him gone. He's just threatened me again. Uh, you know, he said he's moving out in the morning. A oh, voice cracking. A tear in his eye. He's just threatened me again. Uh, you know, he said he's moving out in the morning. Fuck, Surfer's really hurt. 
Yeah. <laughs> our Aaron warrior. Our our holy crusader marching with sword and Bible. Had his brother betray him during an Andy Worski stream. And it's over. It's over. It's all hearsay. It's all... <laughs> it's all... That's why I say, like, there really is no good or bad people in this scenario. Like, everything we know about this argument is all... He said, she said... Like, mean girl shit. Like, there, there is no, like, right or wrong person here. It's all the fault of, like, Surfer falling for... Manipul manipulative tactics of a, a charlatan who was using him. That's really all there is to it. There's no violence, it was all just hurt feelings and mean words. Ooh. I think PPP sleeps in a couch in like the hallway that leads up to their apartment. This really drips with the uh, ghetto fabulous Kino that I've expected to see in many a ratchet live stream on Instagram of some fucking break up over pointless girl drama cameras in the face fucking cops are called and like <laughs> streams afterwards explaining everything from multiple sides I, I josh covers this all the time on like chantel and all that type of stuff this this really does this really is the gayest straight breakup of two bros that has ever been documented <laughs> I don't care, I just want you gone. So you don't threaten me again. Mate. That's it. This is crazy. I've seen Judge Judy shit like exactly like this. Surfer goes on and on about uh like 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 threatening cops and shit and just being belligerent to people and telling them to fuck off, but man, when the yeah, and that's exactly the truth. That's exactly the truth. Is is PPP lying? We don't know. Did he did he threaten him? We can't be certain. But a uh, surfer does go back on a lot of the things he said uh, in his stream that we will go over. Nah, <laughs> cops don't, cops are treating this as a domestic. Ah. Oh. And really, that is one of the unfortunate downsides of Kino Dogme 2007, is that you cannot edit out when live streaming your full docs and filthy trash department. Uh, yeah, it's really unfortunate. So that happens, uh... <laughs> Yeah, that fucking shit happens. Uh, yeah, so Surfer goes off somewhere else for the night. I, I, they sweep it off, Surfer goes somewhere, and uh, PPP issues this video the next day, right. kind of he explaining everything. Crying. Literally crying, tears streaming down his face. 
Drunk as a skunk at 2 a.m. Not really being uh, too polite here, but we're just going to go with it. I'm like, honestly, the guy is not, he's not, he's not who he once was. That's all I'll say. He's not who he once was. And that's a shame. And it's very sad. Very sad. I don't know. The video really isn't that important. He just kind of explains what happened. Uh, he seem he he doesn't seem he's not he isn't apologetic at all for you know what he did. He mostly bashes Surfer, but he he is very fair. He does say that he wishes that they will get back together at some point, but he says like he's a changed man. He's going down a dark path. I guess we'll get into that, but. He make he makes this video. Uh, he makes this video. You know, it's over. You know, this isn't this isn't acting. If it is, you know, it's it's pretty good. So Surfer's now out of the picture. He's no longer part of the show. This relationship is over. But Surfer's not done. Uh, he needs to set the record because uh, you know you can't. As, you know, Mean Girl drama goes, you can't just have, uh, like, one side of the story out there. You need to get your side out, too, and be vicious as fuck while doing it. But now, I'd like to remind everyone what Surfer said earlier, where he brings the content, and he's the reason people watch the PPP show. L let's see, let's check out the state of the content without PPP. We're two minutes in and we're still kind of fucking around. Shouldn't have to come to that. But, you know, I, it, it's really the story of don't outshine the master, you know, because... So, he is... Whoops. He, he is going to go over the video in a minute. But this is just kind of an example of, of the of the schizo like the extent of the abuse that PPP had to deal with. It takes him forty minutes to ramble his way uh to the chase and it's been about fifteen minutes till I get the intro music going and then we'll Yeah, we're fifteen minutes in and we're getting the intro song going. This is the extent of the stuff that PPP had to deal with. This is what he was dealing with. Hours and hours of interruptions. <laughs> Insane. It would, it would crack anyone. Like, anyone would snap. No no amount of, like, like, gain that you can get from this relationship is worth putting up with 40 fucking minutes to get to your video. So I just wanted to kind of amplify that. But now we're going to get into the actual meat of the con. He streamed for five hours this day. Uh, to to respond to like a thirty minute video, uh, like 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 the fucking the ten minute the 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 ten, the ten minute segment that we just watched like right here it takes him fucking like three hours just to respond to that. So let's get right into it. I'm gonna be skipping around, but I, I will, I'll I'll say like everything I need to say. I have my timestamps ready. I'll be skipping over a lot of this, but again, like, the guy- the guy's fucking rambling and he just goes on and on forever. He's just smoking a stogie. People say, like, PPP is the show, idiot. You got drunk and enjoyed the ride, faggot. Stop acting like you have added anything except incoherent rambling. The stream Ooh, felted. Truth of that. Chat loves you. Too well, to be honest with you, Spurry Watcher, like, uh, you know, like, I only really fucking stream with the guy to help him out. You know, I don't have really a lot of intention to keep you... The, the disassociation, the absolute disassociation. He's being told right now by his fans who are only fans of him because of PPP that he was unwanted and he was too much, but... We're just gonna cope it away, boys. To be honest with you, like I might, maybe I'll do that Bible study. Obviously, that's nothing that he really believes in. 
But um, I, I mean, I might do that, but like, I don't really have a lot of intention. Just so we're just gonna know, skip ahead a bit here. Video. I just want to correct the record. We're just gonna correct the record and maybe do some Bible studies. in PCC's eyes. Like, the guy gives me no respect, and he does this all the time, right? Like, you know, I, I, I don't try to cut the guy off, and in fact, like, when he's gonna ramble for fucking two minutes straight, like, I just, I, I think that Chad enjoys when we interact with Chad, so if Chad has a question, I try not to miss it, right? And the, uh, I try to let him go without cutting him off, but sometimes, like, the fucking question gets so far lost, and especially you know, I, I'm just, I'm not going to remember it, so I just want to fucking, like, interact with chat. Yes, yeah, sir, for this, this is a great point. Uh, you know, when people tune in to This Week in Kakira to listen to the debates actually wants, and the audience wants, is for you to respond to the other schizophrenic retards who are, are just fucking asking you questions about your erections and shit. Uh, you know, we don't want to listen to PPP talk about the absolute state of Canadian politics for minutes at a time. We want, like, 30 minutes of surfer, like, like, being fucked. This is not, this is not great content, buddy. And, you know, the, the, you know, the people are here for PPP, man. Like, fuck. That comment lost. I think you guys enjoy that. Maybe I'm wrong. But the, uh, like, whenever I say something, I only had a comment. He just fucking, like, he, he, he just fucking has no respect, you know? And I, I try to show him a lot of respect, you know? Like, I think the guy's a real talent. I've never met anyone with so much potential. I've never met anyone with so much potential as PPP. I have, I have so much respect for the guy, but he just shows me none in return. I... I tell him I love him all the time, and I just get nothing back. Like, fuck off, simp. Fuck off, cuck. Stop riding his dick, man. Like, fuck, it, this is a recurring problem. Like, the guy shows you no respect, and even you can see this. Like, you've known it's a thing that goes on for months. Why do you... Why do you want to... Why do you devote yourself, and why do you have so much respect for someone who thinks nothing of you? It's just weak. It's pure weak faggotry. Uh-oh. Can we focus? There we go. Hopefully I wasn't out of focus. Someone says, you do cut him off and give some context to how long the stream has been going by this point. But in all honesty, I think it's better the longer the streams are, the more content we're able to provide. And the same show, if we're able to entertain chat for 10 hours as a point. Yeah, buddy. More garbage. More garbage. I love garbage. Please, as much garbage as you can feed me, I will take garbage over quality, quantity over quality, the... The schizoid ramblings of Terry A. Davis when he'd stream for 24 hours a day is some of the greatest content ever, is it not? Fuck. Just compose your thoughts. Stay on topic. PPP streams are so much shorter now, and they're they're still like long. He still he can still go on for five hours at a time and entertain chat. It's just pure delusion. That like, that like these ramblings and these non sequiturs add anything interesting. You know, so like I, 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 I'm not gonna accept for a second that fucking, you know, like I'm out of line because I extended the fucking stream and provided a bit more content for chat. Like maybe I'm wrong about that. Correct me if I'm wrong. But would you guys rather have or should, like less content or more content? <laughs> Delusions. Sorry, we're just gonna say I have a bunch of timestamps ready. We're gonna have to watch this again. Oh, we will skip around. The reason it makes 
him upset is because the guy doesn't have convictions like I do, you know, the, uh, and he'll admit to that, that it's about fucking entertainment, not the convictions. He'll explain that in the stream later on, you know, and I, uh, I just, I, I think we do have a good message, and I'm really convicted in what I say, you know, and then, um, <laughs> Whereas PGP wants to start commissioning, commissioning fucking anime reviews and start drifting and fucking give the audience what they want, you know, I... Yeah, I want to give the audience what they want. It's... PPP wants to give the audience what they want. I want to go on biblical streams and... In this is what he says. He says uh, he wants to steer the channel in a direction. Well, I mean, he wants to do shows where they just do Bible studies and go through the Bible verse by verse and ask questions from the chat. Like, you're going to dedicate hours and hours and hours of your life to educating, like, re fucking retards who have, like, short attention spans and they just... The reason why they watch PPP videos is because they're five hours long and they always have to have something going on all the fucking time. They don't have the patience to listen to a Bible study stream and that's fucking boring. I'm not here to be converted to Christ surfer. Your schizophrenic ramblings are not going to convert me to Christ. If I hear some biblical shit in a stream buried about like Ethan Ralph and funny shit like that, maybe I'll be like, persuaded, but no one's gonna tune in to biblical studies where we educate, like, Joey Jojo and all these other fucking retards. Like, fuck. I want to give the audience what they need and take care of my people. You know? There are, like, there are biblical streamers out there. That's why I say I think we have a platform and I think it's important for us to gain that market share back, you know, and, um... We're fighting the race war out here, buddy. Yeah, I do really believe that. Maybe I'm delusional, but I don't think I am. Um, I don't think we're delusional. Skipping ahead here. Did you hear about how they ruined this? And they ruined that? Well, okay, man, if they've ruined it for you, they ruined it for you. Like, it's been like... That's better. paused is when I was younger <laughs> but like like he has a real point there right that like like people these reactionaries <laughs> online cry all day long about the social justice bullshit in their video games but like they just buy the video games anyways and they'll play them for fucking hundreds of hours anyways <laughs> you know like I don't know I would stop supporting the fucking you know, the video game companies, they're trying to sell me this pause shit. <laughs> you know, especially in today's day and age. And I think the, uh, like, when you're watching, when you're watching the, the fucking hockey game or the fucking NFL game that has black, and he, the case. So he, he, he kind of, it, it's, it's kind of an insight into surfers mentality here. Where he talks about, like, not supporting things because they have identity politics in them. Like, buddy, like, not everything has to be about religion. Not everything has to be about Christianity. Like, you can just fucking chill out for a sec. And just, like, laugh at a fat, gunted retard on the internet. And not make everything about fucking religion. And make people think you're a fucking weirdo. And drive people away like you have your friend here. Tragic. Let's move on here. Like, he's actually taking this seriously, right? Like, he's responding to this how an artist would. The, um, obviously, my tone of voice, and when I say things, like, I operate with 100% mathematical efficiency. Like, I'm not Jesus. Obviously, I don't actually operate with 100% mathematical efficiency. And that's how you know when I'm joking. 
And you know, PvP will tell me all the time. I think Surfer here has autism. And this is clear proof of it. Like he, in this, in this video, he was trying to defuse a conflict with PPP that he started. But once you've crossed that line, you can't, you know, a fucking argument has started. But he was too autistic to realize that he wasn't, like, gonna just play off his joke in that situation. And that it was a serious thing that they were now talking about. 100% mathematically efficient like, there, buddy. He hyperbolizes things. You know, it, people that don't understand what's a joke and what's not are just retard autists. You know, and they, they, they're, they're just fucking a waste of time and retarded. But the guy just takes everything at face value exactly like he criticized. Because I understand... That like things like sports and popular media, because the masses are interested in them. If you don't actually follow sports or popular media at all, no, like you know, you can't actually effectively interact with the masses, because, you know, because they're gonna think you're a fucking idiot that doesn't share. Why well, yes, me as a conservative Christian warrior of the white race only watch sports for twenty hours a day. So that I might communicate with the layman, and not because I, I enjoy sports at all, just so I can converse with retards uh, on a very, very basic individual level. Do, do you not enjoy things? Do you not, like, do you not play video games just to enjoy them? Uh, like, it, it doesn't even make sense. Like, if you want to have a conversation about these things, you need to invest, like, significant amount of time uh, of your life into them in order to carry a conversation with it. It would be much better to spend that time doing something else instead of watching hockey if you really are that dedicated uh, to, like, bettering yourself as a God-fearing Christian white American uh, Canadian conservative warrior I really understand that right that you effectively build rapport with your customers you need to talk about things that they're interested in with them right so there is a value in following the sports ball and following the video games and you know the popular media a true Aryan white man only needs to watch paint dry and only needs to admire the fence he erected he maybe only watches sports for like 15, 20 hours a week, which, I mean, 20 years ago was fucking, you know, just completely reasonable. It's just right now with the vaccine mandates and everything like that, I, I, I don't think that's expedient, right? Now, this guy says that, I mean, apart when they're not, when Surfer is not annoying PPP in his streams, he says that he's just browsing Telegram and uh, Discord for hours and hours a day. Is that, is, is that more productive than watching sports like mindlessly rotting your brain away scrolling on your phone like a monkey that doesn't make sense that's that's fucking retarded i tell him to stop watching sports but if it comes up in conversation i fucking i'll, I'll certainly express that point to him you know and when he disagrees with me I, that's all right you know we're allowed to well i mean is it all right you, know, like, you kept hammering the point on for hours and hours and hours during this stream. Out at each other and threaten each other with violence because you disagree over the fucking, you know, how much you should watch the breads and circuses. Well, Surfer, again, like, this really is your fault for letting someone like this, in, in like, this close to you. If, like, the tension between you is so thick that, like, all it took was one fucking disagreement for you guys to break up and split off then why are you, like, letting this person into your life? Why don't you have, like, better judgment? Why can't you judge his character better? And it turns out that PvP... I, we'll get into that in a minute. But it turns out that he's done this before. He, he's been abusive in the past, but Surfer hasn't learned. Again, like, the prison prag. Just constantly letting them back. And, like, the abused trailer trash wife, Ethan Ralph. Constantly letting them back into his life. Our own man at Madden, we can fucking make 
own decisions, you know. Surfer told me last night that sports were a sin and used Jeremiah to justify it. Yeah, 100% I did. <laughs> he talks about it in the book of Jeremiah. We're going to skip ahead of beer. Uh, the Judah, the here a bit. Did it if I didn't say that there? You know, maybe I was wrong in being drunken, and now that I fucking watch that back, I shouldn't have just called him a cocksucker there. In my mind, he just called me a drunk, and he fucking fed my dick liquor, so I was just saying the exact same thing in response, so the porcupine... Oh, I'm so sorry, PPP. I didn't mean all the hurtful things I said to you. It's just, I've been really stressed out lately, and, you know, everything with the vaccine mandate and the, the white race going down, I, I shouldn't have taken this out on the people I love the most. And I'm sorry I said that, but you, you just can't walk all over me like this. Like, get a grip, faggot. Get a grip, queer. Or you fucking homo. You know, but uh, watching this back, I, I might have fucking crossed the line a bit there. You know, and I, I do repent of that. Well, God will forgive you, but will Ashton, will your relationship ever recover? I don't think so. You can say all the bullshit you want, but when I push back a little bit, then it gets serious. You're like, I'm going to quit the show? No, and, and that, that's it, you know? Like, if the guy's going to disrespect me, I, I, I don't need to be on the shows. I'm not going on the shows so I can make an income or for my fame. I just try to help. And I try to I try to give people a message that might help them, you know. And uh, if if you're just gonna disrespect me like that, he can do his own shows. Yes, sir. For where, where was this attitude years ago when PPP first started shitting on your toilet seat that you were not needed in his life and he could just go if he was gonna treat you like this, man? Fuck, you know, we'll miss you, sir, for an integral part of the show with, with all your rants about, uh, like, you know, smoking ecstasy and all that degenerate shit. We'll, we'll really miss that aspect of the show, but we look forward to whatever content you decide to make in the future by yourself. I'm not going to take part of the streams if he's not going to show me the same mutual respect I show him. You know, I really have a lot of respect for the guy. You know? Well, that's the thing, too. I don't know if their friendship could survive a, a split up like that. It would be like voting someone out of your D&D &D game. You know, that's a very, that's, you know, that's a very finalized thing. And I don't really think these guys have anything else going on in terms of, like, hobbies or any other extracurriculars like they just kind of seem to catch up on internet lore and stream for five hours a day all cooped up in this small apartment with nothing else to do i mean it's just a fucking recipe for disaster like ppp you really you really needed to have seen this coming that involving him this deeply and bringing him up to this level You'll eventually have to smash him down and that'll kill him. Yeah, you fucked with your retard, you killed the goose that laid the golden egg. Uh, you're kicked out, you, you don't have a place anymore. I love the guy, you know, but it's a two-way street. And, you know, I'm not going to be his bitch on fucking camera. Well, you were his bitch for years and years. The, um, it's, not, it's not acceptable. And he's going to say, oh... You're threatening to quit the stream, you know? No, you need to show me respect, and I'll do your streams with you. But, like, it's a two-way fucking street, right? And I'll just leave. I don't need to be doing the streams. That's all. This is very fucking upsetting. This guy is oh, this is about the breakup. Old, and I fucking love him, and I love having him around. I really do. And it's fucking upsetting to see it all fall apart. You know, it fucking hurts. It hurts a lot. You know. The cries of a, a battered housewife suffering from Stockholm Syndrome. PPP very well might be Surfer's only friend. 
He has no one in this world who will wants to watch Murdoch Murdoch with him and will put up with his schizophrenic ramblings about white nationalism. And that's why he's so felted in this moment. That's why he's so felted. And, you know, in his heart of hearts, he really does want this person back in his life. But it's it's not for the best. Like, PPP, he has no respect for him as a man. He He... He's essentially his retard who houses him and uh, his caretaker who does everything for him. And now he's squandered that because it simply wasn't worth putting up with Surfer. That's how intolerable you were to him. And yet you still have these feelings for him. It really is sad. It, uh, this, this level of psychological sissy hypnosis has never been documented before. It may be uncurable. Hey, Dad, are you going to try to fight me? Because the last time you moved out, you know, when I kicked him out, I fucking told him, you know, he can't, he can't stay here and sleep on my couch. I'm not going to take care of him and get his way. Surfer. What? If this has already happened, buddy, what what did PPP do to demonstrate that he was a changed man? Like, you've already fought three, like, presumably before this, and you keep letting this person back into your life. Why didn't you learn your lesson the first time? Surfer has, like... He, he he was in a dark place and he really needed a friend. And PPP noticed this. He saw this in this person that he was a gullible retard who did need a friend and he took advantage of him and he sissy hypnotized him so he could leech off of him, get free food and pay like less rent. I, I, Inoperable. I live under that threat of violence in my own fucking home. Yeah, I am crying, by the way, you know? Laugh at me all day, call me a fucking bitch and a faggot for crying. Well, I will call you a bitch yeah. and a faggot, Surfer, because you couldn't stand up for yourself when he was violent with you and asked to come back. He, he asked you to come, he needed a place, and he came to your feet, and you were a bitch, you folded. You let him back into your life after a sob story. Because you need him. He, he's the only person you have in this world who understands you and can tolerate you. But even that had its, li that had its limits. Even that had its limits. I have a heart. You know, this guy is my brother. You know, and I've lost that. You know, that it's so depressing that Surfer goes on and on and on about PPP being his brother, but none of the affection is returned. PPP has nothing... But little bread comes crumbs to drop about Surfer. Really fucking hurt. Maybe I already said I love you, brother. And you're gonna fucking say I'm lost, dude. You're drunk. I'm sober. Calm down. Like I'm not drunk. I have a fucking flight. But doesn't wipe his ass properly, right? And because he's sort of obese, it leaves a little bit of a stain, right? In all fairness. Sorry, we're gonna go back a second. You need to get the context of what Surfer's saying here. And in all fairness, once again, he doesn't actually shit on the toilet seat, but he doesn't wipe his ass properly, right? And because he's sort of obese, it leaves a little bit of a stain, right? In all fairness. So, Surfer's already going back on all the, the gossip. Well, he, he, he's confirming shit that happens, but he's, ar he's already going back on what he said. His, his positions about things are not firm, and he will lash out and say spiteful things just to hurt people and embarrass them, when in reality, it, it just isn't the case. It, it's, it's just a very spiteful thing to do to someone. To drop that atomic bomb. 
I don't clean up your shit like a bitch. I clean up your shit and try to help you fucking potty train effectively so you'll be more successful in life. Like, when you move in with your girlfriend in Louisiana and meet her for the first time, like, how much... How much do you think she's gonna wanna fuck you after you fucking shit on the toilet seat? She has to look at that every day. Yeah, and that's another thing too. A surfer thinks that PPP is a fucking narcissistic gaslighter abuser, and like, doesn't this confirm it? Like, does doesn't this at least like point to that? He has, he has another retard in America lined up now that. He, he, you know, he got tired of Surfer, he realized that the gravy train was coming to an end, and now he's set up this new fucking retard, who he can leech off of and mooch off of and have her clean up his shit, until she gets tired of him too. And then what the fuck is he gonna do? Like, fuck Surfer, you realized all this shit, like, too late. Like, it, it's too fucking late. You've developed such a deep relationship with this guy, and that's why you're so felted. Because your ego is intertwined with this man. And now that his imperfections have started to got to you. That's, it just hurts so much. It just hurts so much more that. They must have fucked. They, they must be fags. They gotta be fags, bro. They gotta be fags, boys. Surfer is so lonely, like he has no one in this world. He'll he'll put up with, like he'll cook all these this guy's meals. He'll pay most of the rent. He'll fucking have this fat retard up at all fucking hours ranting into a camera about schizophrenic nonsense. He'll put up with all that just so he'll have someone in his life who won't fucking leave him. There has to be gaslighting involved in this, buddy. Like, like, oh, fuck, Surfer. If I can't find a place to stay, I'm gonna have to move out of Peterborough. You wouldn't want that, would you? You wouldn't want your only friend in the world to leave you. It's fucked, man. And Surfer, like, he just has this schizotypical personality where he does all this fucked up shit. That many people wouldn't want to put up with him in a social interaction anyway. Like, fuck. You spark up a joint. And you're committing the most egregious of sins. Okay, buddy, you're a fucking man. What the fuck? And that's it. And I am completely justified in saying you can move out. You know, because when he moved out before... I told him the only way he's allowed to come back is if he stops threatening me with violence whenever he doesn't get his way. You didn't learn. Whenever he, he, we have a fucking disagreement, you know. And, <laughs> you know, I, I told him that. And I would never threaten to kick the guy out unless he was... Yeah, you, you told him that, but, you know, he, did, he obviously doesn't respect you enough as a friend to honor that agreement with something as serious as sharing living arrangements with the person. He doesn't respect you, surfer. Like, you're, you're just his retard who he gaslit and sissy hypnified into being his friend so he could leech off of you. And now that you're gone, he has the chick lined up in Louisiana. Like, it's over, buddy. Just, you, you gotta, you gotta wake up and smell the coffee, surfer. It's so fucking obvious. Even a retard like me could figure it out. I'm not fucking shittered, and I don't want to fucking talk uh, what's going. I thought it was best for both parties to end the stream and say, if you're going to threaten me with violence, you can go. That's exactly what I did. Well, Surfer, it's not, it's not your stream to end. It's not your stream to end. It's the PPP show. We tune in for PPP. We tune in to hear his hot takes. Yeah, I just listened to that level of disrespect. Why did you clean up his shit in the first place? Well, once again, it's just a brown stain on the toilet seat, right? Like, Oof. I, I love the guy. It's a minor inconvenience. Like, you really have no problem doing that? I like it. He doesn't have... He He's too afraid of his own roommate and his own brother to bring something like that up to him. So he will get down on his hands and knees and clean it up. 
because he knows that if he br if he starts any kind of confrontation like this, it'll lead to violence, and you you can't you can't live with a person like that. You can't cohabitate with a person like that because they're not just gonna they're not gonna take shit from you, and you're just gonna be their bitch. Like violent people like that, you seriously just need to cut them out of your life, and. God will do the rest. Like, he'll get his comeuppance when he burns the next fucking retard that he gets in with. And you can just live, like, comfortably with that knowledge. The toilet seat down. Toilet seat down before I use it anyways. And I don't use public toilets because I'm a fucking germaphobe and autistic about that, right? Oh, we're losing focus again. Pinkoski is laughing at you, Will, for one. I wouldn't call him Pokeski anymore because he has been clean for like three years. Like, I honestly believe... Surfers. Everyone has burned their bridges with Surfer. He has committed the cardinal sin of being a snitch. And no one will do business with him now except for other fucking retards who are schizophrenic like Surfer. You know, it's over, but Surfer's so weak he can't stand up for himself and he just has to... Take it like a, take it like a bitch and say that he still loves Andy and he still forgives him. Imagine being this much of a fag. And that's all right that he laughs at me, you know, yesterday in the fucking stream, yesterday in the stream, you know, we fucking, we attacked him, you know, like, we tried to teach him. Skipping ahead here a bit. And fucking brought the officer into the home. And explain to the officer how, like, after their Facebook argument, this brown man was intimidating him and coming to the door. And tried to get this brown man arrested. Like, he wanted to press charges, right? The, um... They'll, they'll do this a lot, by the way, in their streams. Uh, this is directly after the Sad Day stream. So I don't think PPP had a serious stream for a few days uh, following this. He's getting settled in his hotel room. Uh, as we'll see, uh, you know, so the idea that he's going to say that, like, he's going to try to criticize me, you know, so the idea that... So, the, the, they're just dropping these breadcrumbs of little gossip information on each other, and now they're just doing tit for tat, where, like, oh, you said this much shit about me, I'll admit that you're a fucking schizo... And that your family thinks you're fucked and you have a poor work ethic. And that's what's been going on these past few days. Is these spurge just having these little petty bitch fights in each other's fucking chats. And it, it is, it is fucking hilarious. It really is, really is the most brutal mean girl shit that you only see in high school. This is what's you know, become of our Aryan warriors. He punched me in the back of the head ten times, you know, and I, as I begged him to stop. You know, I said, stop, bro, I love you. And he just fucking grabbed me. Wow. That's fucked up. That's fucked up, surfer. So the last time you guys fought, according to you, I mean... Like, you know, this is your mentality about things. I mean, maybe, it, you know, maybe it happened. But if so, if what Surfer's saying is true, then this person who apparently you love and while you were begging for mercy and uh, curled up in a ball saying I love you, he fucking fell to you ten times in the back of the head. And you let him back into your life after he proved himself to be like a, a, a feral violent nigger. You can't, you can't spot out niggerly thuggish behavior like that and just cut it out of your life. You hate black people so much, but you can't, you can't find the nigger who lives in your own house. It's ridiculous. Me and fucking hammer like rabbit punches me ten times in the fucking base of my fucking spine. You know, I fuck. That wasn't a good idea, PPP. You uh, you you fucked up your tard, man. You you had a good thing going. You killed the goose that laid the golden egg. You shouldn't have done that. You you fucked him up too badly, and you got all these schizophrenic delusions of grandeur. It really is your fault, PPP. It really uh, everything. 
all all this really is your fault. You pumped up his ego, man. You pumped it up too big. Too high. I fucking, I called his brother, you know, and got his brother to come pick him up, you know, and fucking, uh, he, he moved out. He said he wouldn't threaten you with violence anymore, and I let him move back in in, like, fucking four days, you know. It was four days! It was four days! Did this, did this man apologize to you? Or were, were you just, like, ready to forgive him? What did he do to demonstrate that he was a changed man in four fucking days? If I ever meet someone who's violent with me like that, I fucking cut them out of my life. You can't, you can't fucking stand for shit. But oh no, four days of being alone with his schizophrenia was too much to handle. I, I, think, I think the content we'll be seeing from Surfer going forward as he spirals deeper and deeper into insanity will be very entertaining. We'll have to find out. Content is king. The Kino will floweth. That's why this time, before the conflict broke out, or he'd obviously beat me. I'm not going to pretend for a second that I beat him in a fight in this household. You know, he fucking, I'm 180 pounds, and he's 330. <laughs> you know, he's got like two inches of height and fucking he's double my weight. He knows this. You know, I just went straight to call the police. I did call the police to charge him. I, well, that's why I think, like, if Surfer is telling the truth here, that PPP is just, like, a neat who lives on his couch and, like, doesn't cook or clean, which I think is the truth. I mean, he admits this later that he doesn't have a job and, like, you know, they stream for fucking ten hours a day and this guy never, like, cooks for himself. And you deny that accusation, obviously. Like... Like, if he is this violent fucking person, Surfer calling the police wasn't snitching. Like, snitching would be, like, if he had information on PPP and he, uh, he was withholding that until he called the police to get him arrested. I mean, this is more akin to kicking a, a feral fucking black man out of your house who's violent. I, I really don't see how this violates his worldview. I mean, it makes him look a, a bit weak. It's just taking out the trash at that point with a violent degenerate, like PPP probably is. I, I just fucking wanted him gone. I said, I, I want this guy out. He's, he's fucking threatening me with violence. I don't feel safe in my own home. You know? And... Yeah, I mean, if you are needing it on someone's couch, having someone, like, clean up after you and, like, and, like pay most of the rent, like, you can't, like... The extent of the abuse and how pissed off he was in that moment must have been so immense. Like, more than we could understand just as viewers. So it really is hard to judge who's right and wrong in this situation. Like, fuck. It must have been serious. And I, um, that's what I did. I think I made the right call. I think I effectively de-escalated the situation. And in fact, I, when the cops came, like... I think you did, Surfer, but you guys still both look like faggots. That song. He told, like, the same story he said on camera, but that I threatened him with fucking violence. You know, and I was the bigger man, I told the police... Well, we've kind of been over this already, and, uh, Surfer does like to go on a lot of, like, really long tangents. <laughs> it's fucking insane. We'll skip ahead a bit. No, he did the exact same thing when the fucking brown man threatened him. <laughs> you know, he's going to try to fucking expose me for that. <laughs> you know, when in reality, he's just trying to dox my address, right? Like, Well, Surfer, I mean, you do go on and on about PPP being your brother, and it does seem like a fucked up thing to do to, to someone who apparently is your brother. But, I mean, if, the, if he is this violent person... Like, fuck, Surfer, you get attached too easily. He swindled you. It's just a petty move to fucking stick the knife in my back. You know, and I, I wish it didn't have to come to that. I fucking love the guy, but I think if you watch this video, I'll be completely fucking vindicated of that, you know, and give it a fucking watch. Um, so this was labeled as a domestic. I, I think Mr. Garland has fucking been ranting. 
Well, and actually, I said uh, I said shot that I had. Um, I said shot that I'd read fucking a couple comments. This is the absolute state of the content. This is the state of the content without Stay PPP. Back. It's damn it. <laughs> oh fuck, is that ever joke? There's nothing going on. This is what the people were after. Some schizo retard lighting his cigar and playing music. This is the entertainment we were all clamoring for and that we will now miss out on. Now that Surfer's gone, I mean. Just give me a second to get my fucking cigar burning again here, chat. Here, I'm not flipping the camera around. I'll flip the fucking orientation. Yes, yeah, sir, for my time on this earth isn't limited. I have time to just sit around and fucking listen to this shit. I mean, the PPP show hasn't been interrupted. I mean, he's pretty agitated and felted now, uh, streaming from a hotel room. But he's still watching anime. He's still doing This Week in Kakura. Shit's going on. The, the train's still going. Surfer being kicked off has absolutely not... Uh, felted PPP in any way, uh, it meant how nothing has been lost, nothing of value is lost. Yeah, but that guy in the interrogation, I just want to get my fucking cigar burning here, like, fuck it, you know, I, this one doesn't go out again. Yeah, we're just gonna watch this guy smoke a fucking stogie. Well, I think we've seen enough of this shit. Let's move on to the next timestamp. I sort of hopefully go to a different room while I cook. Like, I can't go to a different room and cook, but he can go to a different room where he's sitting on his laptop, right? I by no means told him to fucking stop listening to his headphones. And, and by, <laughs> like, by no means did I say... You need more hearsay, more he said, she said. What type of man would take on that burden? What type of man would why would you why why would you do that? Why would you take in a need un unless he was your femboy? It really doesn't make sense, but there we go. Our our PPP. Now we know why he has all this time to research Ethan Ralph. And know all this lore about Toad McKinley and Matt Jarbo and stream for hours and hours and hours a day. Because he's in eat, and his loyal manservant surfer only charges him quarter rent because he's afraid of him abandoning him. Uh, he's only paid till October, and he owes me about fucking $150 worth of gambling winnings. So I think we can just call that even. That the, um... Another aspect of a breakup, the finances. Always ugly. Who gets the apartment? Who owes who what? Is he on the lease? When we first moved in, I think he was on the lease. But the first time he moved out after the first year of us living here, I, uh, after our first fight there at the whole fucky this fiasco, I, uh, I don't think he's on the lease anymore. But I, I don't have a Oh, fuck the succubus. Oh, that's some interesting shit. Um, uh, fuck. I think I might have gone over that, actually. Give me a sec. This is all in an order. No one understands. <laughs> you know, so like, the 
Oh yeah, here we go, here we go. I know it wasn't four hundred dollars to sleep in the fucking hall, but it was four hundred dollars like for a place to stay, for I paid for all the groceries. You know, I cooked for the guy, I cleaned up after the guy. You know, and I, I tried. To Is that worth four hundred dollars? Uh, enough. Uh, like groceries for two for like a full fat fucking person like PPP four hundred dollars covers like is that enough for groceries is that enough to be like his personal fucking boy wife servant and and fucking assist him listening to these fucking rants that he does for ten hours at a time is that worth four hundred dollars fuck Again, I, I've provided him life advice with such poignant things as masturbating and, like, fucking black women and going to the clubs and shit. Because most of what Surfer talks about is just, like, his his previous, like, degenerate past history and how he's come to God. And, like, that's, that's the surfer lore. That's the advice he has to give out, that you should come to Jesus. And it seems he, he hasn't even read the entire Bible PPP has. I don't, I don't understand where these fucking delusions come from. Like, you weren't, you, you, you got it wrong, surfer. Like, you weren't guiding him through fucking life. He was taking advantage of you. You were his fucking sissy hypno boy wife slave. Like, fuck, how don't you still realize this? I think what he was getting was worth much more than I worth much more than four hundred dollars, like realistically. Yeah, and it was, Surfer. But you have so little respect for yourself that you couldn't ask for more than four hundred dollars to do all that. Because the big dog is important to you. For all that, I could probably charge him eight hundred. Like, I wanted to fucking charge him as little as I could, and fucking, you know, like... Well, he can obviously afford the... He can obviously afford to pay more if he's fucking gambling. Like, fuck, buddy. Stand up for yourself, dude. If he's not on the lease and he's just couch surfing and you're just taking the money out of his fucking hand, just charge more for him. Stand up for yourself, bud. You gotta fucking do that in this day and age. Can't be too much of a pussy there. Uh, where are we? Uh, give me one sec. Oh, yeah. Sorry, boys, but we'll get right back to the Kino. How to attack, because that's how he would attack his father. And it's, um, I, I'm not going to comment on, you know, like, him. If I think he is honestly justified saying those things to his father. He's not justified saying those things to me. And the only reason he said those things to me was because he knows they're bullshit. He knows he was fucking gaslighting, you know, with the fucking scarecrow that he's trying to build. You know, and it's fucking, you know, it, it's not right to just use what, you know, what you're fucking good at and what, you know, works. And that's why I said that. So more, more little petty crumb drama. I'm just going to allude to things about my friend here that I love so much. But let me just drop that his father and him used to fucking beat the shit out of each other. And let's just be, like, totally disrespectful, all while pretending uh, to be, like, protecting the reputation of each other. You see what I mean? It's all petty Instagram fucking black woman thought shit, where if it, it's, it's, it's tit for tat with the fucking drama that they have on each other, and... PPP said that, like, he can blow him the fuck out. He has all this embarrassing, juicy gossip on Surfer. And he's just holding that above his head. So we'll see how far this goes. How much more they reveal about each other. What other fucked up shit we hear. Because already these guys are still fucking butt blasted. They're still, like, streaming and talking about each other. 
It can only get better from here, boys. It can only get better from here. Next time step. Dead air. If you wanted to continue your online presence, I would tune in. Well, like, I, I might down the line once again. I, I do think, I don't really want to, to be honest with you. Like, I, I just want to call it quits in my heart, you know, but, you know, I think it is important. This isn't who he is. There. I think I, I do put out a good message, you know. And I yeah, think buddy. There's some level of value in doing, like, Bible studies with Chad or something like that. Or like doing mass streams or finally doing the biblical Hebrew, like stuff like that. I, I think there is value in that. I think it is important to recapture our market share. And I think one of the reasons why they're trying to genocide us now and they are flying in such hubris is because they control 100% of the media. And you, uh, you, you can't be above the media, right? So, because our show, our show, our Daka Daka show on YouTube which has under 10,000 subscribers, flies under the radar, gets about, like, you have about 500 sycophants who tune into your show live. You're not, you're not threatening any great media establishment. You're not changing anyone's fucking minds. When you rant about Nicholas Fuentes or Ethan Ralph the Gunt, these aren't the deep, like, psychological questions, physiological... These aren't the deep questions that our generation is dying to know. These, these streams are just for fun, and it's retarded that you would think anything more of them. Like, why... You want to hurt yourself even more. You want to... Like... You want to get back together with this toxic person who doesn't respect you, who beats the shit out of you... And makes you clean up his shit like a bitch. Uh, in order to save the white race. Because our show will reach people. We don't have our market share of the media. That's why we're getting so far. You know, if we can capture that, we can maybe make a political difference. That's something I honestly do believe in my heart. I have that real conviction. What is... What, what delusion? What delusions? Ooh, still felted. I mean, I'm gonna be real. Like, I don't, I don't think I could be converted to Christ. I don't, I don't think I could ever. I don't think any, I don't think any like one person doing a stream could convert anyone to Jesus. I think, I think reading the good book is the best advice you can give to someone. To convert them, and that's really what the PPP show is about. It is just having fun and sitting back and not being so serious. Because no one, no one wants to be a Debbie Downer all the time. It's we just want to laugh at fat retards on the internet. I don't want to be preached to about God. The format, my vision for the Bible studies is that I'd have like a uh, the text for whatever chapter we're studying in the King James Bible up on the screen, and chat could follow along. And what we'd do is we'd read the text, we'd read the text together, and then we, we'd interact, right? We'd give our thoughts in the chat, and we could interact back and forth, and we could, um... Alright, this, this sounds like an amazing idea. Let's go through the Bible verse by verse and interact with the schizophrenic demon known as chat. Like, like retards we're going to be convincing to fucking Christ like Sargoy of Akkad. We're going to save this man and we'll answer whatever fucking retarded questions he has about the Bible for fucking hours and hours and hours. And this is a productive use of our time instead of just directing people to the word of our Lord. You can't... You can't be serious. 
again, like, not everything is a crusade. Like, not everything has... You can fucking relax and have fun and laugh at fucking retards. Like, fuck. We could interact and we could all learn, right? I think it's something that not just chat could benefit from. I don't know, Surfer. I think you might have to have read the Bible at least once before you can have the clout to say all this shit about anything. I'm gonna skip ahead here. This this is a great one. Biggest question. I think you've done a good stream here and appreciate the honesty. Oof. You to acknowledge your own issues. I think if you and TPG grow some balls and you have some maturity, you guys can be great again. And the last two times he's attacked me, that's what I've tried to do. I've tried to bring him back. It's twice! It's twice! He's beat the shit out of you twice! The battered wife, go, I, I can't press charges, your honor. I love him. It was just a fight of misunderstanding. The homosexual white trash of Peterborough. It's unforgivable. I really care about him. But you know, third time's the charm. He obviously hasn't learned his lesson. He hasn't learned his lesson, but I will insist that I, I want this person back into my life. And I'll struggle, we'll, we'll struggle together so we can deliver these fucking retarded streams that 500 people listen to. Like, fuck, don't you have any other ambitions in life to do anything? Fuck, buddy. Like, do something. Read a book. Write a story. Play Warhammer 40k. Like, paint, paint Warhammer figures, dude. Like, do, do, do anything! No amount of abuse is worth friendship, companionship. Yeah. <laughs> hey, buddy. I know. I know that I don't fucking trust you to be around with you and stuff. But I think I think we still have to work together for the sake of the show. So we can do this week in Kakuta, and we can do the Death Note streams. Because the white race really needs this. And I do think our northern Ontario ethnostate is possible. And we have to work together to achieve this. But I don't trust you enough to be in the same room with you. And I'll, I'll just manage all your shit off-site. Even though we're, we're just pointing a fucking camera at a, at a computer monitor. Uh, yeah. He's never going to apologize. He didn't he didn't apologize to you the first two times he kicked your ass. He knows he knows that he needs you and there's nothing you can do. You'll come crawling back to him and that's really all there is to it and he doesn't have to change a bit because he knows what you want. He knows you enjoy it. You're the the bottom. I think that like they like in school they medicate kids with Ritalin when they're too hyperactive because they don't want them to be strong people. They're trying to weaken our people, you know. And uh, I I don't think it's uh, it's right to do that. I think it's good to be passionate. I think it's good to have convictions. And uh, I don't the whole I'm world is against me. I think I'm, uh, I try the to typical to ramblings of a schizo. Oh wait, we gotta go back a bit. Sorry. Yeah, yeah, here it is. This is this is great. This is great. You know, and PVP is very good at that. He's been preaching since he was fifteen. You know, and PVP could preach sermon. He looks up to this guy, man. He he looks up to him so much. It, that's why this is so sad to see. I mean, Surfer has invested so much of his identity. Like, was he even a conservative when they met? Like, what happened? This is information I'd really like to know. 
but he, he's put he he respects the man way too much to ever like hurt him enough to fucking leave him. But he has done that, and that's why he feels this bad about what he's done. He's, he wants to be like him so much. Sir, for how many years have you had to read the Bible? Wow, what an amazing idea, Andy Worski. You, you, you backed the wrong horse on this one. You should have backed me in PPP. We're, we're, we're really going for the long game now. We're the stable one. We're the righteous ones. We're the ones that know how to keep a show going and know how to keep it together and not make total asses of ourselves in a, in a nuclear apocalyptic meltdown fucking stream that breaks everything. Yeah. You really fucked up, Andy. Oh, I've been going for so long. But we gotta get through this. We have so much more to do. Well, you've already done that, bud. And it's only gonna get worse. He has no respect for this person. Absolutely none. And Surfer just puts up with him. No, and I, I got back up, you know, and then he fucking grabbed me. And he fucking rabbit punched me in the head ten times. You know, and I... Uh, he I, I he can't threaten him in a fight. He fucking you know. just kept assaulting me. And I fucking left. You know, I, I got out of the house and... Uh, you know, his brother came to pick him up, you know, and he stayed out the trailer for a few days. And he's, I tried to go on Andy's stream when fucking I was making fun of Southern Dingo. Uh, PPP has moved out. You know the first time after the succubus incident? Like, that's what he told me, right? Wait, the succubus incident. We gotta go over this. You know? I'm trying to find it exactly. He was gonna homo rape. You know the first time after the succubus incident? That, like, he told me, right? Like, he told me afterwards, like, I could have raped you. Like, he actually said that to me, right? Yeah. That's a normal not fucking gay to thing to say to someone who you're having a serious argument with, who you're beating the shit out of someone is, oh, I could, I could rape you, boy. I could fucking rape you right now as you're pounding in his fucking face and he's begging for his life. He's begging for his life. This serious situation like that, this human moment, you're gonna say you're gonna fucking rape him? Like, and, and that's a joke. I do I do believe everything Surfer is saying here about PPP. Like, it all makes sense. I mean, like, the neat shit. And like, and, like, being a violent psychopath, I mean, fuck, they've admitted they've fought before, and, like, PPP admits that he could kick his ass, he's, you know, he seems like a fucking asshole, but then again, Surfer, you're just a fucking bitch and an idiot for putting up with it. Um, We're muted, fuck. The second time, maybe it was naive to let me back in after, let him move back in after. Yeah, no shit, it was naive. Andy and Kyler probably thought I lied to them, you know, and that might have... I think that after that is when Andy thought, started pretending like he couldn't see my comments in chat. Everyone thinks you're a schizo, you know, Surfer. You know, it's over, Surfer. Everyone thinks you're a schizo. Tyler, yeah. 
because I, uh, like I, I, I didn't want to bring the drama that we had and the fight we had there into the public sphere, and I knew CCP didn't either. God, I, I try to find this I succubus incident. And just, you know, moved on from that. But I, I do feel bad if Andy and Tyler thought I lied to them there, because I wasn't. Fuck. I, I honestly believe that he was uh, moved out, and I naively let him move back in. And he told me he learned his lesson, and he wouldn't threaten me with violence again over little things that don't matter. Shit. Do I have notes for this? I'm just gonna check it real fast. We might have fucked the whole show. We might have to. Oh fuck! How unfortunate. Yeah, you just put up with it and take it like a bitch. Well, PPP, PPP doesn't see you as his brother. He, he thinks you're fucked. You're not the man you used to be, and he's willing to cut you out of his life like that. It, it doesn't mean anything. He'll, he'll just find a new fucking like 4chan retard to induct into his harem and make his boy wife. It doesn't matter, it's just a momentary setback. He's cutting off dead weight. He's cutting his losses and he, he's realized this. Uh, I need you to realize this too, Surfer. Thought that CPP enjoys the fight, and he's expressed that to me off camera many times. That he really does enjoy the back and forth and like stealing another man's power, and he enjoys the fight. Doesn't doesn't this sound like something a nigger would say? The people hate that surfer hates so much these violent thuggish people that just go around looking to start shit, and you can't fucking reason with them. Because they'll just beat the shit out of you and there's nothing you can do because they're bigger than you. And they're just fucked. And Surfer can't see that in PPP. Because he's so infatuated with him and he's so glad to have this person as a friend. That he just, he just can't get rid of him. He can't, he, ha he has to put up with this fucking behavior and being threatened and not feeling safe in his own house because he can't be... Alone. Okay, so my uh, camera overheated on my phone, my Samsung phone. That's not good news. Uh, so I kind of had a bit of time to reflect. Uh, we're almost kind of done here, actually. We'll, I only have a few more timestamps I want to go over. I'm probably going to edit down a bit of the rants because they were getting a little schizo and repetitive. But that's just what happens when you're dealing with schizo repetitive people i only have a few more things i want to touch up here and then we'll just move on to the final segment yeah ppp's internet girlfriend from virginia Fuck, he mentions here that, like, like, the girl started spreading lies about Surfer. I gotta find that. The Irish succubus? No, no, the, the Irish succubus, the, um, when they first started talking, he was also talking to her, but he chose the, this girl in Louisiana over the Irish succubus. Come on, get to the point. And I think that this Louisiana girl is a succubus as well. I think that CPP's weak, weakness, like, his main weakness is the succubus. I think that they fucking delude him in his mind and try to drive a wedge between him and his best friend. You know, and I don't think that's my best interest. I don't it's think no that's brotherly love. Interest. 
I, I don't think that's in Chat's best interest. But like this woman, who cares what Chat thinks? Best interest, and that's all she cares about, right? So she manipulates them. And I, I don't think that's right. But it's, uh, you know, he can make his own mistakes with that. So there you have it. Uh, PPP has another Spurg lined up in America that he can move to and uh, mooch off of. Now that he can't stand Surfer, he realized that his tangents were too much to bear. He already has another girl lined up, and that wedge was already driven between them uh, months ago. So this breakup is really like a long time in the making. And these feelings have been building up for a while. And I think that's that's PPP's next move, because he can't neat forever. Uh... How he's going to get into America, I don't know. He's going to have to take the vaccine. He's got his spurgs lined up. He's a genius surfer. You, you never saw it coming. Anyway, last timestamp. Uh, 21. It's a waste of time. You know, like... With, uh, Discord and Telegram, you know, I find myself sidetracked looking at discord or telegram for hours at a time and that is a waste of time you know and uh so surfer is so willing to indulge in overstimulation and looking at his phone for hours a day which is in all honesty a very very destructive uh pastime but he will constantly get on ppp's case uh for being obsessed with sports ball uh, he does not know that, like, he is not without sin, as so he should not cast any stones in... It doesn't make sense. And this whole argument between them, this whole video has been, like, very, very petty and very, very, like, schizo w with his ramblings. But, uh, PPP... Whoops, we gotta focus there. PPP did see this video... At least some of it. This is really the only important shit. He goes on for like hours and hours and hours more. He streamed like twice that night as well. But anyway, so normal PPP programming has now resumed. Uh, this is our boy now. He's a lot less stable than he normally was. He is... His hair is greasy. He is not showered. He's without a shirt. None of his new streams... He's not wearing a shirt in any of them. He He's likely in a hotel room. What trailer has, like, a fire sprinkler? Uh, like, grafted into the wall like that? I don't think so. So... PPP is now homeless. He, he pissed off his loyal boy wife, and now he is homeless, living in a Motel 6, waiting to get vaccinated so he can move to America. That's how unbearable Surfer was, that he is willing to do all this just to get away from him. That's got to be hard on Surfer. So his next big stream, the Baked Alaska stream, is about another five hours long. Uh, but he can't help but talk about Surfer in the stream. Let me get my notes. Hold on. Alright, here we are. So, after, after that stream where Surfer had all these nice things to say about PPP, that he guided him, that he's a noble person, a very learned man, and a, a figure that does have the potential to change the world. Let's see what PPP has to say about Surfer. He's speaking this ill of you 
Surfer, he's revealing all, like, the drunk things you've said to him. Like, in confidence, all this, like, these weird personal ideas you've never shared with anyone. He's gonna reveal it all. You are a drunk twink. You, you, you don't have a gun. You fired a gun maybe twice in your fucking life. Like, live in the real world. You're not killing police officers, dude. And shit like that, I told you, man. You're not killing cops. And I don't want to live with somebody who thinks they're going to kill cops. Sorry. That's crazy. It's no. over. Hey, it's over, surfer. Relationship over. For the friendship is dead. He thinks you're fucked. You're a deranged man. Who is probably going to start some shit one day. That's, that's what this person who you look up to thinks of you. It's gotta be, it's gotta be soul crushing. Skipping ahead a bit. You know, we're saying we're not gonna talk bad about each other. Let's, uh, you know, again, Surfer was saying some things about, you know, PPP's father now. PPP's gonna admit some things about Surfer. Right? Like, I don't want to get into it, but he has hallucinations. I don't want to get into it. Down, thinks there's a fucking bug in his so Surfer is, like, legitimately schizophrenic. Like, he said in the past that, like, schizophrenia runs in his family. Uh, he smokes weed, which exacerbates, like, schizophrenic conditions. And he, like, he's around the age where people start developing schizophrenia. Man, the best are always taken so young. Like, it's fucked up. But yeah, like, now that now that you've talked shit about his father, he's gonna, like, like fucking mention that you're a schizoid. And, like, you know, like, among other shit. It's never gonna stop. Like, it, like, he always has to have the last word. Yeah, you see how tolerant, like, he had to put up with it for so long because, you know, his neat gravy train keeps on, it sustains him. So in that moment, you know, he had to brush it off and he had to just play it off like it was normal, but he could only do that for so long. And for his own sanity, he had to cut it off. Okay, so now, uh, after that, the PPP show has gone on for like another hour like another two hours have gone by and like uh you know no, nothing more has been said about surfer but now uh you can't see him in chat because he's been banned spoiler but he appears in chat because he you know no, he has like nothing else going on in his fucking life so of course he's watching this stream so he comes into the chat to try and blow ppp the fuck out He thinks your aspirations are stupid, surfer. Like, do you really think you're a serious religious leader, surfer? But you don't have convictions about anything. Reality check. Last night, surfer went from saying watching sports isn't a sin to it is a sin to it isn't a sin to it is a sin. You changed your position on that about four or five times. You have no scripture to back up your position. So don't talk to me about anything, dude. Ooh. I think it comes up here in a second. Yeah, here it comes. P 
PPP Janny Surfer. Surfer has been swept. He got swept. You are now... You are now banned from my show. You are banned from chatting on my show and you are banned from my life. That's it. This is over, sir, for your aspirations of doing Bible study streams with PPP are dead. And your friendship is frankly over. I mean, you soured it with that stream, perhaps, but I think it was for the best. I think it was for the best that these two split up. To me, honestly, it's... It's quite obvious to me that, like, uh, PPP met Surfer when he was in a very, very dark place. Uh, was doing a lot of fucked up shit. And was a degenerate and needed a positive influence in his life. And PPP saw that he needed a good friend. And that, you know, you know, at first they were probably good friends, but then... Then, you know, PPP realized he's a fucking schizoid retard. And that the only thing he was good for was taking advantage of him. Uh, because, like, Surfer is kind of an abrasive person. He is a big personality. And that is the type of person that, like, does drive people away. Like most normal people. But he is desperate for affection. So... He'll try and find someone else to latch on. He'll try and find another PPP. And, uh, sur <laughs> PPP already has his next surfer lined up in Tennessee. So, I, I think, I think that's where we're going from here. That's, well, that's option one, is that, well, option one is they get back together and, like, this was all bullshit. They get back together because this is pretty. Def this is a pretty definitive breakup. If it's not like bullshit, option two is uh, they f they find other toxic versions of each other to lash on to, and the cycle the cycle renews, and nothing changes. And Surfer just spirals deeper into degeneracy. Uh, PPP does not complete the gun pun challenge and links up with some crazy chick in Tennessee. Option three is uh, PPP continues to neat and uh, starts grifting anime reviews and uh, Surfer becomes Terry A. Davis doing schizophrenic biblical streams in his apartment. Uh, those are the three options, uh, the three paths that I see the story taking. Uh, we'll just have to find out. It seems like the PPP show is continuing. Uh, he says he's going to retire soon, and that would be a shame, because he does produce pretty good content very consistently. He's one of the only people I know of that could stream for 10 hours and have 500 people, uh, like, the same people consistently watching it. And that's true, uh, you know, there are known people in the chat that I've mentioned that you'll see all the time, and he does have, you know, it's a dedicated fan base. He produces great content. Uh, Surfer, on the other hand, uh, will just become, like, a Kiwi Farms, like, Faraya, like a, like a Terry Davis. And that's where I see this going. Uh, there isn't much else to say, really. I'll just play us out. It's a crazy world we live in. Anything can happen. Shit can just come out of nowhere. It's anyone's fucking guess. But thanks for sticking with me through my schizoid ramblings. Let's, I'll edit it down to make it more bearable. I'll edit this out. If you guys ever want to come down to Toronto, just link me. I've got a bed for you to sleep on, PPP. You can be my daddy. We'll, we'll do anime reviews. We'll watch JoJo. We'll do all kinds of cool shit together. Just come down to Toronto, buddy. I got, I got a couch for you. You still gotta live under Doug Ford. I'm not a bitch, though. I'm not gonna take... Uh, I'll make you wipe the shit off the toilet. I'm not gonna clean that up. I'm not your surfer. 
I already have a father. I'm good. Alright, it's purer than what I've witnessed today.